Welcome back to I Shine Connect. Thank you. You know what's amazing to me, seeing this church here? It's like right by the Sea of Galilee. Yes. How beautiful is that? So is this a fairly recent addition? Yes, this, church? this, is, this is very recent, yeah. It just says everything. Yeah. The faith that it must have taken for that woman mm -hmm. to reach out thinking, if I can just mm. touch the edge of his robe. I was reading the story this morning before we came. Yes. And Jesus was on his way with a very influential man with Jairus. Mm. But when she reached out in faith and touched him, yes, he stopped. Wow, the presence of God is so, so thick here in this uh, chapel. I, I can feel that. Mm. Can you imagine what it must have been like that day? I mean, she, as a woman described in Leviticus, is unclean. Mm. She's not allowed to touch anyone if she makes them unclean. As a woman, she's not allowed to touch a man. And yet she made her way through that crowd. Mm. And as far as she would have understood by Jewish law, Touching Jesus would have made him unclean, and he's supposed to be going to heal Jairus' daughter. Mm. She didn't understand that when we touch Jesus, we don't make him unclean. Mm. It's when he touches us that we are made clean. Hallelujah. Why would she touch the hem of his garment? I wondered about that, and as I more research, I found out that the Lord commanded the sons of Israel to make corners or we'll say tussles for their borders, for their clothes. Uh, and that's a reminder of who they are as a, a holy priesthood for him. This is their, their identity, their uh, commitment to him. Yeah. And so her thinking, if that was really the Messiah, and if that is the, the, the God that I am supposed to receive healing from, mm -hmm. he says he's a Messiah. She actually remembered what the rabbis told her about the hymn which is referenced in Malachi 4.2. And it says, those who fear my name, the sun of righteousness will arise and healing in its wings. Wow. The word wings, it's the same word, kanaf in Hebrew, the same as was written with the hem in that specific verse. Oh my gosh. In Numbers 15.38. Wow. So she thought then, if that was the Messiah, if this is what he says, he, who he is, I know the son of righteousness, him arise. will arise and I will receive my healing. You know what else I love about the story? I love that the disciples just didn't get it. You know, when Jesus said, who touched me? And they were like, Lord, look at the crowd. Yeah. But he knew the difference between somebody bumping into him yes. and somebody reaching out and touching him in faith. And that's mm. why he stopped. This is incredible to me that the persevering faith that she had, mm. despite the social, religious rejection. For 12 years, that's a long, long time. Long time. And she had nothing to lose. People say that she was hopeless. I don't think she was hopeless. She had a lot of, I mean, she had hope inside of her. She knew mm. that this was my last chance to live. Yeah. And so that desperate faith has met his grace and the miracle took place. I love that. That is going to be my prayer from now on, that I would be so desperate for Jesus. Yes. So desperate and reach mm. out in faith. Mm. And that's when miracles happen. That's when miracles happen. And that's my cry and prayer for every woman yeah. Yeah. that's listening to us. I will never, never forget this day. Thank mm. you for sharing it with me. Thank you so much, Sheila. Amazing. It's a great honor. We'll be right back after this short break. How would you like to have this official 1979 All-Star Games souvenir program? The same one sold at tonight's game. Well, now you can. Just send $3 to All-Star Program, Box 4100, Seattle, Washington. This souvenir program is full of photos, stories, and baseball information. 
Make your check for $3 payable to the Seattle Mariners and send to All-Star Program, Box 4100, Seattle, Washington, 98104. And be sure to include your name and address. A message from Major League Baseball.